4 million. Remember that number. That's how many U.S. households have children living in them that are being exposed to high levels of lead every day. That's according to the CDC. That exposure can damage a child's brain and nervous system, delay growth and development, and increase the risk of hearing and speech problems. And for people living in older homes, the dangers of lead paint is a real concern. But many forget lead can also poison your water. Tonight, 7 Eyewitness News reporter Ed Riley takes an in-depth look at how you can protect your family from this hidden poison. Lead is actually a neurotoxin, so it's toxic to your brain. It's a toxin that never goes away. It just builds up and builds up. When it comes to the dangers of lead, it is usually associated with old paint. But there is another way lead can poison you, and it's the result of homes having older plumbing and water fixtures. <laughs> In houses built prior to 1978, lead was heavily used, especially in bathrooms. Old clawfoot bathtubs are now becoming popular for remodeling. But unless they are resurfaced, the old tubs can leach lead into bath water, allowing children to splash it into their mouths. Especially under the age of six, uh, the brain is developing and that lead toxin could affect brain development. Old brass bathroom fixtures are also in high demand, but they too were created with large percentages of lead. <laughs> Even with copper water pipes, if they were installed before 1986, they were put together with lead-based solder. And that's why experts say anyone with older pipes, fittings, or fixtures should run the water for about a minute every day before using it. <laughs> It's also important to use cold water for cooking because lead-tainted water could be sitting in your hot water tank. You can be sure that you're getting kind of, you know, new, fresh, clean water that hasn't been, you know, sitting around in the pipes at all. The Erie County Water Authority treats its water supply to control the leaching of lead from old pipes. But people who use well water or have caustic water situations could be at high risk. So this, this pipe here is a lead uh, water service we re recently uh, dug up uh, in the city of Buffalo. Salino Plumbing from Elma works on older water systems. The company cautions that over-the-counter water filters will not protect you from lead. And when it comes to renovating, do-it-yourselfers run the risk of dislodging lead particles. By handling them, removing them, uh, reusing them is really a bad idea. So how do you protect yourself? First, find out if you have a lead problem by having your water tested. Kids come up with neurological disorders that stunts growth. There's a lot of very bad health effects that can come from this. In the city of Buffalo, you can call 311 to arrange for a free test. And the New York State Department of Health now has a new pilot program where it will check your water for free to see if you have a lead problem. There's really no reason you know, not to get a test if you have concerns. In Buffalo, Ed Riley, 7 Eyewitness News.